please like, comment, and subscribe on this video, or Master Evil's gonna replace all of our regular soda with zero sugar soda. When Master Evil comes to play, and Mama says that it's okay, Alex and Josh are stole away, and made to watch these movies, to stay alive, until the day they Welcome, viewers, to Slash Track. Well, prisoners, obviously I'm still stuck in the Shadow Zone, thanks to Sister Evil's idiocy. I'm hoping Ma and Mr. Flivel will be able to get me out. Great things are happening. And I would like to be able to fully enjoy it. The show has been so successful that I plan to immortalize it by turning the two of you into wax statues. I mean, make wax statues of you. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I meant. <laughs> but for now, I thought it would be fun for me. And torturous for you. To make you two idiots watch the turd of a film, Wax Wax. You know the one with that guy from time after time the Jack the Ripper guy, and the wax figures coming to life and kill people who step into their displays. Well, you'll find out. <laughs> Enjoy your torture. Okay, wait a second. Is he, is he really going to turn us into wax statues? I mean, this, he's, he's done some crazy shit, but he's not going to, like... Are, are we screwed? I think he said that he was going to... He was going to cover us in wax and immortalize, it, immortalize us because of the success of the show. And I think he's either... I think he either wants to make us actual wax statues or, for the love of God, I hope he's going to possibly make wax statues in our honor like like waxworks things i hope yeah I, he's done some fucked up shit but oh god he's coming back what stop yammering about being or not being covered in molten wax it will do you no good you are going to have to watch waxworks you have no choice <laughs> now, open the vault! Of course, we're watching wax work. Okay, now it's all come full circle. Uh, at least, if we if we get through this, maybe he won't pour the molten wax over us. It sounded like it's something he might want to do yeah, subtly, I don't know. So, should we just open the vault and, and watch wax work? Yeah, we should we should do that, but someone needs to let him know that there's a subtle difference between watching Waxworks and becoming part of Waxworks, and also let him know the difference between breaking us and murdering us. There's yes. a difference between that as well. Somebody, please, into the AM, our new sponsor, please, let him know you need us. Okay? Open the vault. Oh, 
oh wow, we're like in a early nineties like uh what is it, three D O video game. That's what that looked like to me. I feel like we're in a Stray Cats video. What is this music? Stray <laughs> this Cats. Is a horror movie. I wanna dance. Three Stooges in the Wax House. Is this for real? Is this music for real? It's almost like that guy's not having a good time, but I'm having a hard time believing he's not because the music was so upbeat. Hey, he paid good money for that fire fetish uh, stuff there. Smoking. This, this, this movie is, what, is smoking. This is what happens when you answer Craigslist ads without meeting them in public first. No, this is what happens when you try to throw Mama off the train and fail. Yeah, Mama Mama strikes back. <laughs> hey, somebody called me a hick recently. Yeah, Zach Galligan is in this, really? Yeah, this is the opposite of uh, Gremlins. Uh, instead of water after midnight, it's fire after midnight. <laughs> <laughs> so no smoking up a doobie after midnight. <laughs> No no putting your head in the fireplace after midnight. Yeah, the dude could have fell to the right, but no, he fell right in head first. The um the font for the names here looks like uh like a showtime made for TV movie. <laughs> it's not even centered. The well, only thing that was driving me crazy was like the uh the brickwork looked shoddy. <laughs> Did you see that transition? That was yeah. like our transitions for our show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's the table from Ghoulies. Are they going to have like a meal with no protein? You no, know, that's the table from Batman 1989. Where Vicky Vale and him are having dinner and they're having soup, cold soup. Hey, we have a shout out on the channel from Zach Galligan, just so people know. Oh, this is a. This came from Fearnet. I see we got a we got a stamp there. Master Evil's getting uh, cheap with his prints. <laughs> we got to ask him if the the Evil family needs a handout because right. we haven't we haven't actually spent any of our own money in years now since we've been locked up. Is there going to be commercials? I'll riff some commercials. Run along to school, darling. Oh, he's doing the typical frickin' movie and TV thing. He's got full glass of milk, full glass of orange juice, breakfast, doesn't touch a thing. Nobody ever eats their breakfast. Jenkins doesn't work for him. He's just a guy that showed up there and they just accepted it. So much better than that nasty orange juice. I never finish it. Mom does not know how to prepare it. That jacket of his seems a bit oversized on uh, Zach there. Isn't he off to school? <laughs> yeah, he's got a lecture he has to teach. On, on the harmful side effects of smoking. <laughs> he's, he's investigating. He's doing his research. He had to get a new, new identity after, uh, you know, having... Half of his town murdered by gremlins that he caused. <laughs> this now, this little area here looks like a Nightmare on Elm Street, like Part Two, yes. like just the way it's filmed here. Okay, is it cool outside or is it warm? I'm getting mixed signals here. It's got well, yeah, because she's like covered head to toe, and then this other gal's like in a sundress, but the you can see the heat. Vibrating on the film. <laughs> There's clearly palm trees in the back there. <laughs> Uh-oh, I laughed at one of our jokes, my bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, this episode's just fucked now. Big way to go, Josh. At least I didn't say anything about getting a dick wet or a nasty stripper hooker or said, this movie is very bigly, very bigly. You're not allowed to have any running sexual in the window jokes whatsoever on your own show that you created. <laughs> I was bird watching. 
Let's see. He looks a couple birds. He looks like Mr. Megorium. <laughs> wax Emporium. Mr. Megorium's Wax Emporium. <laughs> Mr. Wax. Wax in museum. <laughs> Mr. Wax works person who invites strangers in to get murdered. And the person who dresses me as blind, don't ask any more questions. He looks like a, someone ate an entire box of uh, Fruit Loops and then vomited it all over him. He looks like like a cereal company was trying to design the next Captain Crunch, and he's like one of the one of the wadded up pieces of paper in the trash can. This that guy right there, the Mister Megorium. He, uh, everybody always says there's a, there's like this urban legend that he was the one who was originally cast as Freddy Krueger in the first Nightmare on Elm Street, and it's been debunked like a hundred times, but it still pops up on the regular for some reason. Hey, Nazi class, 101. Oh, my God. You're not even going to be, be able to finish this episode because you're going to be burning in hell for that comment. Gosh, Lord. Now, why does this guy really have Nazi symbols up? That's That's ridiculous. And he's German? Is, is is that what we're gathering from this right here? I, once again, I'm thrown on the temperature in this town. There's people with short sleeves, people in, like, full suits. I mean, where is this located? There's our boy on the right there from uh, Return of the Living Dead Part 2. He's the cable guy. What, potatoes shaped like dicks? What's wrong with that? Okay, maybe we can get a gauge on the temperature based on what what the practice is going like here. Now, they're in their suits here. He's got his freaking shirt off, so it must be hot. But she's wearing a turtleneck. <laughs> There's a I'm breeze, so though. confused. Hey, I saw a breeze, though. There's a crosswind. That guy is having to wear his, like, little brother's pants that day, apparently. Did, did you see how many essay uh, pages that Zach has to write now? Did you hear that part? No. He Well, he was punishing him for talking in class after he showed up late. He, like, literally, like, 100 pages of extra homework. <laughs> well, if he can't finish him, he can always hide out in the attic away from his teacher. Well, if he slept with her last night, I hope he wore the neck roll while he was doing it last night. Down, set, you're touching my butt. Okay, you're a little handsy, dude. Oh, okay, your boyfriend, girlfriend, it's cool. This is a pretty intense practice here, Josh. I don't remember going this hard in football practice in high school, like full full tilt boogie. And, and full slow motion moments. Yeah, I don't remember having a, care, a cinematographer on the sideline for my practices in high school. No, this is college. Isn't this college? Excuse me. I have no idea, actually. <laughs> well, they had a lecture. Like, it's got to be. I'm assuming this is college. Okay. It's a Nazi college. So Zach goes to co- Zach goes to college. Um, he can walk to college apparently. So from his house, so he lives in his hometown is where he goes to the university. I guess, right? Okay, yeah. It's like Haddonfield University. They got, they got that beer neon sign from the same place that that place in Dreamchild got the hot dog 
Yeah, they got it from the Crave Inn, the the Crave Springwood Inn. Diner. When I bartended, my my biggest pet peeve was when someone would walk in and they'd they'd say, "Get me a beer," and I'd be like, oh, "What kind? We have like a hundred different kinds." <laughs> they did like movie style. I need yes. to smokes, and like the person just knows exactly what smokes to get them. Exactly, and that like or like I hated when someone would say. Uh, I'd say, what can I get you? And they used to be like, I don't know, surprise me. And it's like, okay, I'm going to stick a screwdriver through your head. <laughs> <laughs> Driving me nuts. I'm busy. I don't have time for to play patty cake with you. She's like, dude, quit talking to me. Can't you see I'm in here trying to change? I'm naked. Look. She's actually sitting on the toilet from the angle <laughs> we're looking at right now. Quit laughing at your own jokes. But yes, that was hilarious. I can't even pee when there's someone 50 feet away from the bathroom. Can you imagine trying to take a dump while your ex-boyfriend's talking to you about whether he cheated or not? Yeah, see, the reason I don't want to ever go to jail isn't because I'm afraid to commit crime. It's because I'd have to share a cell with somebody. Oh, yeah. That would be a hard situation for me, too. I'm so bladder shy. I would, I would die. My bladder would just burst. What do you do with the rodeo clown over there, the evil rodeo clown that watches you in his barrel? Well, sometimes he just cackles for hours on end, and he blacks out. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then I, like, I'll, I'll know because the barrel will stop, you know, shaking, and I'll know it's time for me to use the, the bathroom. Oh, okay. We're good. Tony's there. God, Tony is literally smoking in every scene of this film so far. He's not going to die from any monsters in this movie. He's going to die from cancer. I'm going to light up a cigarette every time he has one. I'll be dead by the end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're screwed, pal. I'll be talking like this. Uh, why is Zach going to uh, a wax work at midnight? Doesn't he have a 65-page uh, assignment on, like, Lithuanian dictators due tonight? Maybe he'll he's looking for like a wax statue of Hitler or something to get inspiration. I don't know, but he uh a cat scared them, a cat yelling scared them. <laughs> they have like he obviously comes from money, like so his motivation for like uh college is probably not at the highest level that it could be, I guess. His ancestors had more shiny rocks than the other people's ancestors. That's why he's rich. He's got so much money, he can just throw milk and orange juice away every morning and feel he, no but, repercussions but, from it. But drink the tea that the strange guy at the door hands him. Every drop. What do you mean you want to go home? You're, you're going out, headband. You can't just go home. People got to see that thing. I should never have signed up for this movie. Oh, me either. So they just got their SAG card. <laughs> Welcome to Fantasy Island. <laughs> that's him, right? Is that the plane, the plane? Yeah, that, that, that's him. I don't think it's him, but I, you know, that I feel like this gentleman right here was in the lollipop guild for real. Wasn't he? Was he one of them? Maybe, maybe I have to see the way he like dances and moves. If he moves real stiff, then probably, or you know where I think I, you know where I think we know him from Josh. Willy Wonka. He, he, he no, he did stunt double work. I think he actually was in Halloween Resurrection. I think he played Michael Myers in that one. Oh, he did the live action uh, scenes of uh, the Chucky doll in Child's Play. No, dude, he's Michael Myers in oh, Resurrection. Yeah, no, he's a little too tall. Well, he might be actually. <laughs> Lurch. You just punched him in the dick. He just, like, bowed like he just finished a piano solo. <laughs> okay, I don't think that link works anymore, but but feel free to share your fears with others. Okay, I will. Uh, I have a fear of being forced to watch movies I don't want to watch and then comment <laughs> on them fear for hours at a um... time. Yeah.
I'm Batman. If I went to a place where the doors just constantly open without someone actually opening them, I'm gone. It's actually another little person back there opening every door. He, he said, it's the same guy. He's like, welcome again to the wax wax. Like, okay. <laughs> we got it the well, first time. Two little people, both the doors shut. So they've yeah. lived in this town for a while, and this is their first visit to the waxwork. No, no, no. It just popped up. Like, it ju- they just noticed it going to school. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is like a brand new deal. And they're like, oh, that's a weird location for a waxwork because it's just in a neighborhood. Well, they got the, the, first, the first visit. They should feel special. Nobody's made them pay yet. You know, I don't believe that this is actually a waxworks because where's the Ripley's Believe It or Not right next to it? I didn't see one. Yeah, where's the really bad sculptures of, like, Hulk Hogan and stuff? Laurel and Hardy, uh, the Star Trek bridge, like, with Captain Kirk, uh, O'Hara, whatever, O'Hara, whatever the hell her name is. Donald Trump that looks like an Oompa Loompa. Beyonce. Beyonce that looks more like, uh, I don't know, something funny inserted there. <laughs> you just you just set yourself up for shitty comment of the week. <laughs> right, there, right there, man. You just inserted all the bad comment bullets into the audience's gun right there. <laughs> Insert something funny right there. That's your job, Josh. You're riffing something. <laughs> That's the whole premise of the show that we're doing right now. Is that person getting screwed in the ass by the car door? What's going on there? I don't know. I think the scariest part of that was probably the price of gas on that pump right there. Oh, yeah. It was like five fifteen a gallon right now. Oh, it's another he's ciggy. a cigarette. I got to light yeah. one up, too. Another ciggy right next to the gas pump. This guy is an idiot. Wait, did he light it? Am I am I in the clear here? He didn't light it. Okay, cool. He's got good hair, though. You got to give the kid that. He's got good hair. Now he doesn't have good hair. What the hell just happened? I don't even know what happened. <laughs> He's in the woods from Ernest Scared Stupid. He, like, his pack... His pack of cigarettes got flicked into the waxwork music like exhibit, and he went to go grab it and went into the exhibit itself. Okay, who dressed me in like half a second and made my hair grow out? Who was it? Tom. Tom. Did you hypnotize me? This is what happens to you when you've had 27 cigarettes within the hour. You start to hallucinate badly. Surgeon General's warning. <laughs> yeah, we'll be sucked into waxwork exhibits if you have over 27 ciggies in an hour. And you'll have bad, 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 bad wigs. Yeah, I know. I was just commenting seriously, like, right before he walked into this exhibit about how good his hair looked, and then now it just looks like hell. Knock on wood. This is a fun. This is a phenomenal exhibit, though. I mean, seriously, look at this now. This is lifelike. That's he never I, learned how to knock on a door. He almost had the secret knock until he added the three little extra knocks right there. They would have let him in. It's shaving a haircut, not shaving a haircut and uh, you know bikini wax. Shave and a haircut, bikini wax, and a ciggy to relax. That's some moonlight back there, huh? Pretty bright. Have you seen a Luigi? Is he in the Mushroom Kingdom again? I'm pretty sure that that guy is on the TV show Lost. Before Bowser kidnaps you, too. It's just constantly, I'm saving the princess. 
going home, saving the princess, going home. I just can't take it anymore. He reminds me of Mario. That's the that's the thing. He's going to be werewolf Mario. He's not getting the Tanuki suit. He's getting the werewolf suit here in a second. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog t- had, a, had a video game with that, so why not Mario? I'll give you wood. I'll get the wood. No, Josh, you know what's happening to Mario here? Taking this, a crap? No, he's. this is the effects of secondhand smoke when you're around this guy. I just thought he ate the wrong mushroom. No, man. He This guy right here, Tony, has been smoking Siggy so much that He's getting a secondhand smoke off that bad wig because the smoke is stuck in him, you know, and he's he's having a violent reaction here, Mario is. I will entertain his asshole. I mean entertain this asshole. Fine. <laughs> I want this guy to die, even though he's one of the good guys, because he's his like monologue is driving me nuts. Like he's annoying the shit out of me. There's good guys. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, for somebody that got sucked into another dimension, he's taking orders very well from the guy in the house. Fine, I'll get the wood. I know, he, dude, he acclimated to this situation quickly. <laughs> He just got sucked into this exhibit. It's like real, and he's now he's doing chores and shit. <laughs> Scrub the floor, all, all within a minute, matter of two minutes. <laughs> oh wait, I laughed at I laughed at my own joke. Damn it! Keep that camera away from me. I have an an irrational fear of cameras. It's too close. You know what's actually coming at him right now? That's the bus from Freddy's Revenge. <laughs> That, dude, this is almost like a 3D situation. He, like, put that, like, weapon, like, right towards the camera. You know how they do with, like, 3D, 3D movies? Uh, I really need a cigarette. Where the hell were you guys, like, seconds before I got bit, you son of a bitches? <laughs> These are the they- most... These are the worst werewolf hunters in history. Sam yeah. and Dean got too old for the Dude, game. They come in to hunt the werewolf, right? And they don't even have one in the like one shell in yet. This is what happened to Sam and Dean when they just would not quit hunting. This is their Look own at Sam fault, there. He's grown a mustache. Really let himself go. Uh oh, the werewolf mask is made of some hard stuff, man. No, the werewolf is no selling it. He's hulking up. Wolfamania. I know you're old, but shit. Well, the Winchester brothers are no more. Pretty good werewolf uh, outfit, though. Like that's not bad. No, it's not, it's not. It's not the worst I've ever seen. Howling for the oh reason... shit, Master Evil probably heard me say that. Great. Please no. Wait, the reason his wig right here is so bad is because they used all their hair money on the werewolf suit, <laughs> turning into a wolf pyre. That, that's what happens, man, when you have nicotine withdrawal. Look at this. They say quitting smoking is harder, harder than quitting heroin, dude. Yeah. You got a cigarette. He never even had a <gasps> chance to, like, use his werewolf powers, dude. He just immediately got murdered right before Chief he used his powers, man. Chief way to save the budget for the transformation. <laughs> yeah, they're like, we're only going to do, like, half of this. We'll murder him. Huh. Smells like my dead friend around here. Well. Uh, 
Oh, another lovely exhibit here. Laying rod. <laughs> okay. So they're bringing this on themselves. There's a rope there for a reason, right? Exactly. They're not supposed to cross it. That's they probably didn't read the fine print, man. What really happened is she tripped and knocked herself out and then she's just dreaming. Oh, it was Mrs. Peacock in the kitchen with the silver Wait. bullet. It was Mrs. Peacock in the kitchen with the creeper at the dinner table. That dress looks like one of the dresses the Queen wore, Queen Mumby, from Return to Oz. I'm telling you, man, I know you love that movie, but I think we could riff the hell out of it. Don't even go there. Don't even start it again. And you, you'd get to see me terrified of the wheelers. <laughs> I was talking to somebody about the wheelers the other day, and they're like, why were you scared of the wheelers? They, like, literally, all they can do is wheel wheel up to you. <laughs> <laughs> they can't do anything. With their, they have wheels as hands. And I used to have an irrational fear of little people, so I was a kid. Who took my powder of life? Hey, he's an Olympic Olympic gold medal winner. Check it out. Sure you are. He's paying me eight dollars an hour. And eight dollars an hour in like nineteen eighty seven? That was actually pretty good scratch. Hey, it's Luigi. And this guy is smooth, man. The way he opens his mouth like a quarter of an inch when he speaks his uh, dialogue here. The screenwriters were like, I bet you I can get the word tartar into the film at least three times. <laughs> you like it a tartar, huh? It, it's seriously... Oh, more sauce. Oh, just more blood. Thank you. <laughs> it's, it's steak tartar tar. Thank, thank you. Uh, say when. <laughs> That's my special ingredient. <laughs> I came in it. I mean, I mean, what? I heard you. You heard nothing. She doesn't even get like you. Just get the st the you just get the raw meat. You don't get any mashed potatoes. You get no corn, no no carrots, nothing. Just it's a, a bowl. It's a, of... it's, it's, it's a reverse ghoulies. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks like uh, berry compote. Actually, <laughs> like the shittiest dessert of all time. Where's the whipped cream? Yeah, where is uh? What do they call that? Strawberry shortcake. That's what it. It looks like it would go on a shortcake. IHOP has gone way downhill. She didn't even get a refill on her coffee, man. That, that waiter was shitter. International House of Pyres. That was really good. I'm full now. Uh, thanks for inviting me. I thought that was, hey, I thought that was the guy who turned into the werewolf. I thought this movie was so cheap they were just reusing characters. Looks like they were eating the, like, you ever had the uh, cheesecake jello that has, like, that red sauce on the top? The red. I have, I have not, but I've seen it in the grocery <laughs> That's store. That's what it looks like they're eating. Just... Dude, this is like the, this is like the mid-80s, man. That First of all, that didn't exist. Uh, green... Ketchup didn't even exist yet at this point. The bathroom's down the hall. You're going to need it. 
and your room is actually just a bathtub full of more raw meat. Tartar. Oh, and before you go, Tartar. <laughs> tartar for now. <laughs> Got it in there five times. I win the bet. We get a fear net commercial, people. And we're back on Slash Tracks. <laughs> Welcome back. Here's your room. <laughs> I trust you will find everything tartar. <laughs> I mean, to your satisfaction, uh, tartar. I just love the fact that she's just embracing it. She's not questioning it at all. This is this is a, somebody who just is, hates her life. Doesn't she have school tomorrow? I mean, this was a school night. There's no alarm clock anywhere in sight. She doesn't. There's no cell phones back then. How's she gonna get up? Oh wait, she'll wake up because she's gonna have a violent reaction to all the raw meat she ate at dinner. Right. Hope you enjoy your four post dead. <laughs> your four post. Who says I'm a gentleman? Yeah, who says I'm a gentleman, bitch? It's 2022. I can pick my own pronoun. That shirt he's wearing uh, was actually the same puffy shirt that Jerry Seinfeld wore in season six. But I don't okay, want to be a pirate. Tell, I couldn't tell if that was her screaming or him, because as soon as the scream happened, his mouth was wide open. This looks like a Madonna video. Hey, the movie suddenly changed to the music video for I Would Do Anything for Love by Meatloaf. Yeah, I mean, whoever directed this movie, I wouldn't be surprised if they were a music video director first. Oh, she's in a saw trap room. No, she's in the she's in the shower stall that Eddie Kasprak was in in it. And you'll float down here. <laughs> Is it hot enough up there for you? It's awful inconvenient, isn't it? Oh, hell. Dr. Frankenfurter's about to come out. The guy on the table's going to start singing the Sword of Damocles. Sword of Damocles is hanging over my head. Oh, man, that would be a whole different take on Rocky Horror. It's what it looks like the setup of Rocky Horror when they bring Rocky to life. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Um, did you see the movie Fresh on Hulu, Josh? No, I did not. Well, spoiler alert. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Fresh. Your leg tasted amazing. I just want some more. Your talking is making it weird. You found the Tartar room. No means no, creep. The wh first, the whores divorce. Yeah, this guy's taking the Atkins diet to a whole nother level, man. He just meat all day, all night, huh? It's a cheat day. No, no, no. Entree is the designer of the dress. That's all. He wants the dress. He's like, I'd get up and help you, but my leg is been consumed earlier in the evening. Oh my god, that cannot feel good. <laughs> that would be, dear. First this of all, this guy's not gonna not gonna have a leg up on anything. No, he'd be he'd be dead if his leg was like that. You'd die of shock or something. There's there's no way. 
You can't just survive with your femoral artery runs through your leg. By the way, <laughs> that guy's dead. <laughs> yeah. I can believe wax mu- museum exhibits that turn to life. I cannot believe uh, them flaunting this bullshit in the face of science right here, Josh. Did he stab him in the dick? Oh, in the leg. Okay. In the leg. Ah, no. Which one? Oh, that one. Okay. If he has a cross on his head, head, hey, the other thing is behind the blade. It wasn't touching him. It's touching the other blade. It was really more of an X by the time she was done pushing it against his head, but it's a, I'll go with it. Okay. Josh, I could, I could see, when she's against the wall right there, I could see the two parts of the set moving apart, dude. <laughs> like, like, wh- wh- like it's supposed to be bricks, right? Or cement or whatever. You can see the seam moving. It is a wax museum. I guess. Wow, that wall got bloody really fast. Well, who chose the color for this death room here? Like, let's have white be the color where blood is going to be all over the place. This is a bad... The wall all of a sudden opens up with teeth. Ha! <laughs> Even the walls are vampires! Ha! You thought you were going to get away. You're super Ted now. <laughs> I was going to give this a five star Yelp review for the for the for the beef tartar, but uh, the atmosphere, no. Yeah, the atmosphere. you have to kill like six vampires to enjoy your meal. Well, and the servers are pushy. You know, like I didn't even want to eat again. I didn't even ask for extra gravy, but exactly. Uh oh, here's the executive chef. Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> she is just absolutely glistening, man. She's got the worst case of food poisoning ever from that tartar. She's going out like a sucker MC. That's gonna Josh. be very uncomfortable. I know this from experience. Okay, anybody that's slightly turned on right now, you're welcome to leave a comment and tell us all about it. Yeah, because that's what friends do. He goes Alex? past. <laughs> he goes Radio past. <laughs> he goes past the exhibit of you know his ex girlfriend right here, uh, and he's like, "Wow, it's really interesting that they have an exact likeness of my ex girlfriend getting." You know, boned down on by Dracula. That's incredible. This girl right here, you can tell that she's like the the virgin of the show because like her she's really thoughtful in most shots, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like not a lot of dialogue, just a lot of like express like pensive, you know, kind of thought provoking, like, you know, head turns and stuff. All I know is how to take care of a mogwai poorly. Get reviews and coverage from this year's Tribeca Film Festival at fearnet.com, folks. I'd love it if we had internet access, Josh. Too bad this is all just one big tease by Master Evil. He's getting good. Free movies 24-7 at fearnet.com. Hey, if you got a pen or something, scroll that down in your jail cell. I will. Will do. We get free movies 24-7. They're just all shitty. (laughs) Yeah. Shit, hey, did, did you see that the like we got another channel in our cells? We now have Lifetime. Oh yeah, I, I think he's gonna make us watch some of those. <laughs> well, we got Lifetime and we've got Fearnet. That's it. That's all we've got. <laughs> the end. They leave. Everybody lives happily ever after. They don't even have, like, this is like a behind-the-scenes, like, special, like, little tour they get, you know, before it's open, and no one's showing them around. That, that would be my first red flag.
listen, you little son of a bitch. If you don't tell me the truth, I'm going to pick you up and punch you through the fucking window. <laughs> I'm going to put you to work in a chocolate factory. <laughs> If you think Busta Rhymes was a problem in Resurrection, pal, you're going to wait till you see uh, what I'm going to do to you. I'm going to put my foot all the way through your ass, <laughs> through your fucking ass. Flashaholics, uh, if you were born after the year 1995 or 96, that is a payphone. <laughs> and back in the old days, there was no cell phone, and I would call my mom to pick me up by using a thing called 1-800-COLLECT, and I would just say my name, and instead of my name, it would say, Mom, I'm at the park, pick me up. <laughs> she wouldn't have to Tintin pay for... 220. Yeah, she wouldn't have to pay... She wouldn't have to accept the collect charges. You have a collect call from, Mom, I'm at the park, pick me up. Or, you have a collect call from Clark County... <laughs> Correctional Facilities. Alex has went on a murder spree after having to watch Lax work. <laughs> Will you accept the charges? This movie, when I was a kid, genuinely scared me. <laughs> I wouldn't exactly say that they're beautiful. Um... They're decent. Did you not see the, the wax statue was like moving, <laughs> breathing? Yeah. Tell me about it. A little Tell meta me there. Story. A little meta. Uh, did Wes Craven have a hand in this? Who the fuck was he talking to? I don't know. Us? <laughs> Slash Tracks, the movie, coming in 2024. We'd have to watch the shitter of all shitters for that to be a motion picture. Yeah, what if these are the, t if these are the Slash Tracks TV episodes, what is the movie going to be about? <laughs> <laughs> What movie is it? Ghoulies 4. Don't even, don't even, yeah, don't even go there, bud. So he almost kissed his ex-girlfriend who he just, like, broke up with, like, this week, right? He doesn't even know she's dead. He, this guy is a dirtbag. He is. I gotta let some mogwais eat and turn into gremlins and devour half the town and get away with it. Wasn't he? Wasn't this guy also in um, Mannequin Two? I think so. Did you know that Jonathan Banks, the guy that plays Mike on Breaking Bad, was one of the cops in Gremlins? No, I didn't know that. Does he have hair? Yeah. And does he talk like this? No, it's normal. What'd that clock ever do to you? That's I've mas never agreed more with anybody in my life than I do with her right now. <laughs> That's Master Evil's secretary. What was the point of all this sh 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 if you're going to come in there and talk? You don't say. Oh, was he had, doing his homework for? Her? Yeah, he was having to help do his homework, the sixty-five page thing on dictators. What are you upset about? That's pretty correct. That's pretty that, spot that's on. Like dead on. This guy's entire wardrobe for the film is three-piece suits and bathrobes. Wait, she didn't come home? She's dead? Okay, so I can go back and kiss the other girl now and not feel bad about it? Sweet. Tony Robbins? I need him to make me shallow hell. 
Tony Robbins, man. Like, I've heard so many things about him being, like, a fraud. <laughs> like, he's not, he's not, like, accredited by anything. He's just, like, saying words. Kind of like Dr. Oz. Or Dr. Phil, or, like, whatever. Like, it's just, like, you just give yourself the title. Like, I'm a doctor now, damn it. You just need to look inside yourself. Triple H. That's who China was screwing. No, Sean Waltman. Oh, Peter X-Pac. Ryan. My bad, my bad, my bad. One night in China. Wait a minute. We're both wrong. We're on Jeremy. <laughs> Damn. He, you can tell that his character is developing now into like a more like serious character because he's not wearing a bathrobe or a suit right now. He's wearing a polo. This guy's like, we need to speed this along. I gotta go shut the Ghostbusters containment unit down in like 10 minutes. He does look like, and he, yeah, the guy from Die Hard. <laughs> the same guy. Kid? Seriously. I'll have your balls in my hand so fast and I'll squeeze. I mean, I'll have your balls just, just go. Yeah, listen, just however this ends, just know your balls will be in my hands, okay? And I don't have a dick. I am dickless. Cue cue the freaking music from a sitcom, I guess. Like a buddy sitcom, here. Well, it was my nickname in high school for my growth spurt. I was hoping you had some more Aquanet so I could finish my hair. Uh, before this young man interrupted me, I was trying to get the perfect wave. And I've got a long trip to New York after this. Also, after I'm done killing people at my wax museum, I am going to be uh, working for TGRI, where I will be specializing in growing gigantic dandelions. This is Merle. He looks like the guy in the middle looks like a young Merle from Walking Dead. It's his backstory. Before he got on meth. Why Why is every cop in 80s horror movies just doesn't want to do their job? They don't believe anybody. They don't want to they don't want to do anything out of the ordinary. They're just they fly off the handle at everything. Exactly. Like, I just, over. They, yeah, they ne- they never want to actually do their job. Because they're getting too old for this shit. The most evil thing that the wax museum guy is doing is he's wearing white after Labor Day. Mm Mm-hmm. That's supposed to do that. He knows better. So, does this guy... Like, where does he live in the wax museum? Does he have, like, a bedroom and, like, a kitchen and stuff? Like, when he's not trying to murder people in his exhibits... Yeah, there's like a bedroom set with a rope, and he steps over it and like gets yeah. transported to it at night to go to sleep. What's his there's normal a toilet? There's a toilet section and everything. He's got a kitchen like with all of his favorite shit. Is he like trying to force him to go down on him, taking a bribe? And we haven't forgotten about all your little monsters that ate half the town. So don't don't come back around without any proof. I this is okay. Every Retracted every once a joke. Every once in a while on tw- on Twitter they'll be like, "What movie couldn't be made nowadays?" They'd have to cut out all the lecture hall scenes with the with the Nazi stuff. Kind of like my redacted joke earlier. Yeah, there's no way. This this would not fly. Dude, 
are you an idiot? You know you're going to get uh, you got 65 pages yesterday. You're going to get 130 pages if you pull this crap. Why why even go to class if you're never like trying to pass the class? That looks more like a high school than a college. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember having a locker <laughs> in college. This is high school. This has got to be high I mean, school. Their, their heads are about to hit the ceiling. It looks more like an elementary school. <laughs> well, they also didn't have lecture halls in high school, though. I'm really confused, man. This guy's stewing because Peter Bankman pissed him off, and he didn't have a good comeback earlier. I think those cigarettes are laced with PCP, man. He's having a bad trip is what's going on there. Let you know when my paycheck comes from this movie. See if it was worth it. Well, he's going to keep waiting then because that thing is not going to cash. I just hope I don't get lost in time. He doesn't even have a search warrant, man. This guy doesn't do anything correct as a police officer. He don't play by the book. He's got his own set of rules. He's going to get himself a little head. His tie, he looks like he's like a saxophone player. <laughs> like in a 1960s nightclub band. Everything was fine until Dickless here ruined the whole wax work. You're supposed to say, is this true? Is this true? Yes, it's true. This man has no dick. It looks like a mixture between the guy from Ghostbusters I'm talking about and uh, uh, John Glover from Gremlins <laughs> 2. I thought you were going to say insert funny name here. <laughs> <laughs> this guy looks like a mixture between the guy from Ghostbusters and you guys can think of a, a funny person to mix with that. How about that? Huh? Wait, he stepped over the rope. Well, she was alive still. Now she's going to wake up with a giant hole in her face. Didn't someone tell this detective to not pick at it, and then it'll leave a scar if you pick at it? <laughs> he doesn't even handle the forensic stuff good. He doesn't have gloves on. He just, like He's just straight touching the evidence. Cross-contaminating everything. He also left his DNA all over the crime scene because he's, like, sucking on matches and flicking them all over the place. These two are like, this room is strange. Look at all these cobwebs. Look at that Fear.com logo in the corner. I don't like the look <laughs> of this place. I don't like it. I don't like the way that logo's looking at me. Looks like a, looks like a wax stamp. It's nice to know that the police have about the same the same directives as normal people when going through possible evidence. He yeah, he's following nothing by the book whatsoever. Not this not Zach, but the freaking detective. Why do bad guys always keep their newspaper clippings and shit? Yeah, they always have like a nice little trail of evidence that reveals their entire evil scheme. Marquis de Sadie? Oh, I'm getting so hot. Sorry, I found a playgirl over here. Well, yeah, if she's acting like that from the Mark of the Assad book, can you imagine if she got her hands on some actual pornography? Whoa. Like the Shawn Michaels playgirl magazine that he thought a bunch of women would be reading. <laughs> goes on to explain everything in perfect detail. If he had done this much research in his actual class that he needs to pass, he'd have 100%. Exactly. Like, he's just unmotivated. He's not sm He's not, not smart. He's just lazy. He's, he's the Jesse Pinkman of the show. Yeah, he's just lazy. He's got to find something he's interested in.
And I also know that it looks like I have lipstick on. It's the werewolf again. Oh, wait, it's the cop. Why does the cop have to be such a slob? Like, he's just like... <laughs> He's he's starting his matches on the side of the of this expensive exhibit. He's like throwing shit all over the place. I got my promotion. I've been waiting on this, you know, my detective shield to my archaeologist shield. I got it. You know he's taking it seriously too because he shaved for this. I know, finally looking professional. He's like, I got a dick now. So this is what a lieutenant does when they get a... I got promoted to the lieutenant. This is, this is my new gig. Why does the music in the background sound like when two people are about to make love for the first time? Because they're, they're about to diddle that uh, mummy. <laughs> Cover your eyes, young children. Just the young children, the not-so-young children, that's whatever. It's up to your parents. Josh, I don't know how many children are actually watching episodes of Slash Tracks. <laughs> hey, it's, an, it's that guy's essay. <laughs> he actually did the homework. He just yeah, lost not, it. Not enough pages for that one, though. You need 65 pages. You'll be condemned to a painful death at the hands of waxworks. If you read this. Could have started with that. <clears throat> Wait, when that mummy stepped out, there's a drip of blood. Is that mummy on its period? He's the mummy from uh, Blood Wings. <laughs> Which we shouldn't know about yet. Lucky guess. <laughs> He's never going to get ahead anywhere. Yes, in my bag on the other side of the tomb, right next to the mummy who crushed the man's head. <laughs> Come here, mummy dear. Well, the man needs to go to the bathroom. Oh, man, that mummy's a dick. He, like, killed the guy and then just, like, spit and drooled, like, whatever that shit was all over the guy's face. So the last thing that guy experienced in his life was just that stuff from the mummy's mouth all over his face as he's dying. A little insult to injury. Hold on, mummy. Give me a second. I got to reload. Just bitch slapped him. <laughs> bitch slapping mummy. Well, the detective shouldn't have been out there turning tricks and not turning the, all the money over to the mummy. Snake, that makes perfect sense. Well, it's good to see that the snake from Freddy's Revenge is getting some more work. Snakes. It just had to be snakes. Oh, dollar store John Goodman playing the piano. John Goodman. Where do you get where are you getting John Goodman from this guy? I don't know. Is his name really Sir Wilfred? No, this is this is do, this is Doctor Mittenhands before he went full psycho and leprechaun in space. Dude, I can get us an interview with the guy that played him. Mittenhands? Yes. Okay, is this guy's name really Sir Wilfred, and he's in a wheelchair? I mean, how perfect is that? Well, 
Well, it all started when I was approached by my agent uh, to be in a low-budget horror film. And they hired, like, three different music composers. <laughs> and they had no idea what tone they wanted for the film. They had a scary scary little guy that could be really creepy, but they barely used him. But they, they put him on the poster anyways. And then Huey Lewis, featured on screen right here. Uh, Wearing sunglasses at night. <laughs> oh, man. It's hip to be dead. No, no, rewind. Not, oh, man, it's snap. It's not that. I racked myself really hard whenever he fell down. Oh, my God, his head hit me right in the testicles. Oh, God. This whole movie feels like I got hit in the testicles. I wish I were running out of time. Dude, anything from Vestron, you know it is going to suck. <laughs> Guy's drinking his own urine. He's been there so long listening. Well, I think the, the answer to your problem, dear, is that you are 27. And you are still in high school, for one. Or college. Undetermined. Well, actually, the 666 in the Bible appeared in somebody's dream, and in dreams, numbers appear upside down, so the number would actually be 999. But I digress. Have you been around somebody that smokes at least 28 cigarettes. If you have, you're safe. Oh no, he only got 27. You're fucked. Are we supposed to follow you? Or is this this the end of the discussion? (laughs) He's he's all, anyone can sell their soul to the devil. Now, go away. (laughs) Be gone. Have you, ever talked, on the scale? have you ever spoken to somebody you, you met for the first time that, like, was that excited and that, like, reveled in what they were telling you? <laughs> well, only whenever I was trying to shut down evil waxworks. I mean, look at this guy. He looks like he is going to get, like, if he could feel below the waist, he'd be getting off right now. <laughs> that dust that just came out of the book is what his dick looks like. <laughs> Just a dusty old dick. He's got that safari hat ready to go, though, man. Just in case. He looks like, uh, he puts that hat on, and he looks like kimchi (laughs) with the Ugandan giant Kamala. The hat's actually just cover up his colostomy bag or something. Oh, damn. This guy knows word for word exactly what needs to happen. And he and he it lives in the same neighborhood as this wax museum, by the way. He didn't even try to stop it himself, so he's partially to blame for this. Yep. You must burn the waxwork and survive until a black screen appears with words scrolling from the bottom to the top. Unless you're watching Carnosaur, it'll scroll from the top to the bottom. And for the love of God, you know the time is short. If you see a Fear Net logo anywhere in a room that you happen to be in at the same time, you know the time is nine. And I'm secretly evil. <laughs> Wait, but you haven't left yet? Oh, but shit. Don't, don't tell him that I told them how to defeat the Wax Museum. <laughs> don't <laughs> tell him that, though. Tell them I sent them over there, and I'm very pleased about it, but please do not tell him that I told them how to thwart you. They come back in 
and just ask if he validates so I can hear everything. What was that? <laughs> Do you validate Pocky? Wait, wait, what did you just say to that guy on the phone? And, and why are you laughing like that and petting a cat evilly that you didn't have in your lap five seconds ago? Why did I feel like when he opened that bag that he was going to pull some cheeseburgers out? Because <laughs> you're hungry. We don't get fed. Uh, <laughs> look like you got some sliders. Well, I will say this into the AM shirt is really nice and comfy, though. He can't see anything except... Dude, if you can't see anything, just try to find the the light off the FearNet logo in the corner there. Exactly. Yeah. Just base your bearings around that. Man, hey, he's... there's a wax there's a wax set up over there for gremlins. Hey, it's the trough where Chucky uh, was brought back to life in part three. No, that's all the glasses of milk that he didn't drink throughout his uh, breakfasts that have been saved up. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. It's a vat of milk that he's going to die in. So he, like, in a weird way, he kind of brought it on himself, you know, because he didn't drink his milk, wasted it. It's a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> Zach is jacked, man. Look how buff he is, man. That chest area, it's very defined. What a what a stud. Come on. Help me put this Zippo fluid everywhere. They got Johnny Depp's stunt double for this scene. So they're having rum, then. Amber Heard's in the back, you know, threatening with the baseball bat. You better act good. No, Amber Heard's got a tape recorder right there. <laughs> on the little on the little uh you know plate there. She's trying to catch him in the act. Oh, somebody stole her boobs too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, slashaholics, we are approaching the part of the movie that seriously disturbed Alex as a child. Okay, I can't tell if he was checking her out or checking him out as he walked away. Either he way's cool. Either way's he, cool. He definitely had some serious eye contact on uh, Captain Jack. Let me get my dick towel out. Is there a falcon I'm not seeing? This is uncut scenes from Beastmaster 4. What's up with that happy dude in the background right there? <laughs> I don't know, but he looks like the freaking uh, guy who works at the funeral home in Heathers. It looked like Keenan Thompson playing a character on SNL. <laughs> yeah, hey, for they... tough stuff that don't even keep her hands in. <laughs> hey, they have the same shackles that we have. Tried and true, man. That's what we look like when we're watching these films, by the way. Her hands could easily come out of those shackles, though. <laughs> Whip it. Whip it good. Some TiVo starts playing during the scene. Well, that was uncalled for. It's the words prostitute, asshole. So why are some of the people aware that they're somewhere else and some of them seem to just blend in perfectly and just go along with it? What are I don't the, know. What are the rules? What I don't know. The rules? They don't, like, establish that very much. Like, I think she's aware that she's in a wax museum exhibit. I think the other ones were not. She just likes she just likes being whipped. 
she her character throughout the whole film has been sexually repressed. So they like uh, built to that scene. Like she didn't want to kiss Zach. Eh. This must have taken place in like the forties or fifties, you know, before color was in the world. Okay, no shit. I had a friend until he was like twenty two believed that back before like the sixties, yeah. everything was black and white. I shit you not. Believed that like people like were black and white. Yeah, everything was black and white. Was your friend the dumbest son of a bitch in the history of the world? Like who who is your friend? I'm not gonna say their name, but yes, 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 they are. <laughs> they thought that uh, prescriptions that you took to Walmart had to be developed. <laughs> like they made the medicine at Walmart pharmacy. <laughs> Instead of instead of it was just already there, they just fill in little bottles. Yeah, in the back. They're coming for you, Barbara. Very <laughs> very slowly, Barbara. They're coming for you, Zachy. All you gotta do is tell zombies I don't I don't believe in you. You're going back in there. You paid for the VIP tour. What what he did right there, Josh, is the equivalent of when we were kids and you'd go to a movie theater and your first movie would be finished, and then you'd sneak in to the end of another movie <laughs> without paying for another ticket. That's the usher trying to keep him out. Kind of like uh, how I snuck into the end of the new Scream movie, not to spoil it for anybody, but I could not believe that they made Nev Campbell the killer. The actress, not the character she was playing. The actor just wanted it to be over. This guy likes whipping people so much that he's literally creaming in his freaking pants right now while he's discussing it. Jack Spare. Oh, oh, oh. This guy looks like a broken down, like, dollar store version of Casey Jones. <laughs> Like, he was Casey Jones' stunt double for, like, any scene where he's, like, got the back to the camera. There's a lot of whores in this movie. These are... These are fembots. Definitely. Or, like, the robot chick at the end of Halloween 3. Coming in Season 3 of Slash Tracks, by the way. <clears throat> if we get renewed. That's one of our most requested movies, uh, Halloween 3. I don't get it. I like the movie. I've never seen Halloween 3 all the way through. So, did they discuss a safe word or anything, Josh? Did we see that part? Or Yes, powdered wig. All you gotta do is pull your hands out. These cuffs are way too big. Yeah, he doesn't even have a key. He just has his hands and common sense. Yeah. Just un un unbend your wrist, honey. <clears throat> she don't wanna leave. I'm not gonna let you take her. <laughs> yes, she doesn't want to leave. Don't don't take her. <laughs> She's got Stockholm Syndrome very, very fast. So the more he whips, the more his shirt comes off of him? Like, I don't understand. Like, the middle of his shirt rip in the middle of the whipping? It reminds me of Michael Bolton in the Jack <clears throat> Sparrow uh, Lonely Island video. <laughs> Can you imagine if they made action figures of these guys? Like, whip, in sex, sexual beating whip included. <laughs> 
sexual whipping action. <laughs> <laughs> with Kung oversized Fu, handcuffs. Yeah, Kung Fu grip on the whip. <laughs> Zach comes with a Zach comes with an undrank glass of milk and a musket. And don't forget these other ones. Dickless detective. <laughs> uh Tommy from earlier comes with three packs of of filtered cigarettes. Three silver bullets that you drop constantly. <laughs> Yeah, his and he also halfway turns into a werewolf, transforming action. Mummy action with with sudden appearing snake. <laughs> well, he he just used his one bullet in that musket. You're not a little girl. I can beat you like that at home. Come on, bitch. She Wait, did it, did it rain in the past couple seconds while we weren't seeing her? Well, getting getting the shit whipped out of you, Josh, kind of takes a little bit out of you, bud. Makes you, you have a rough day. Man. Tia Leone, the early years. Yeah, instead of just shoot me, this is just whip me. He's not worth it. He's not worth it. He's unwhippable. Or we shall meet again, you overactor. You'll be lost in time someday. I'll see you again. You're not going to meet me again because you're never going to be in anything else again, pal. You've been canceled. It's 2022. If you had whipped him, it would have been fine. It would have been equality. But no, he just had to whip the woman. The guard is drunk. Very drunk. Yeah, warn the people in the museum that you're coming. <laughs> kind of, they're like, whoa, a, a hand just popped out. <laughs> oh, there it is again. Every time he puts his hand through, the little guy or Lurch starts, like, <laughs> pulling on his fingers, like, hitting him with a hammer or something. <laughs> like, ow! Ended up jumping on the little guy's head. It squishes like a Goomba. Uh, that was close. <laughs> He's surprised, but they didn't see that they were attempting to, to leave the exhibit earlier. Little guy had his hand out like he was going to, like, put it on the back of her head. He's like, this is the closest anybody's ever been. Meanwhile, on tour. That dude looks like a broken down version of Bobcat Goldthwaite. <laughs> <laughs> Let's let him go to a waxwork. <laughs> uh. Bobcat Gold Fonzie. Uh -huh. Dude, the next movie we watch could be Nutty Zombies from Hell. They make a movie about anything. Wow, mean much? Wait a minute. They both were killed within seconds? That's within how long seconds. they lasted? Yes, within seconds. Because <laughs> in the other scenes, it was drawn the fuck out. Robin Williams comes riding in as Theodore Roosevelt or whatever. <laughs> Am I late? <laughs> Night at the Waxworks. <laughs> 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 
Ben Stiller's like, oh, this is the like, wackiest night security job I've ever taken. Oh. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't exactly a xenomorph. Dude, the, this reminds of the me of the movie The Monsters, uh, Return of the Monsters that like came out in the early 80s, where they're like made copies of Grandpa yes. and Herman. They're moving around like that. What the hell's my ex-wife doing in the movie? Did you see that? Oh, yeah, she just wants to meak. Run, run, there's nowhere to run? Then why tell me to run, you asshole? Excellent dialogue. Master Masterpiece. This is like the best haunt I've ever seen. I want to go. I thought he was in on it. I am con- I am like confused. Is he a bad guy or a good guy, Josh? Maybe he's pretending to be a bad guy. Hey, there's this guy that makes the tea in the morning. Yeah, and he br- hopefully he brought his nicotine. And drink your orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> this movie brought to you by Tropicana. Drink your orange juice or this will happen. So a little side, uh, little, little side note here. Uh, I had read that they didn't know how to end this movie under budget. So this scene we're watching right here was like written and filmed in like less than a day, just impromptu. Like there's not even any choreography really. They're just kind of doing what they do. This is all just. That. This is all just kind of on the fly here. They didn't really have an ending. Help me! Help me! What she's doing right now is because the wax museums are, like, the exhibits are real now. She's hoping to get some more whipping in. <laughs> she's looking she's around. deciding, like, do I really want to date this guy? Yeah, do I want to get whipped the shit out of, or do I want to stay with uh, Zach here? You know, I could, I could probably get a better guy back at my high school college. Junior high slash grammar school. The elementary college, high school, university. Was that guy getting his neck sawed off with a rope? Freddy walks in. Fuck this! <laughs> Yar! But that guy wasn't even thrown through a window, he just jumped through it. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just going to throw myself through a window. <laughs> Fuck this. I'm out. <laughs> that one guy was smiling as he's fighting. Staff only. Okay. Everybody stops. Whoa, we can't go back there and fight. Yeah, you can't go back there. It's staff only. A cop dug out half my face. That is the worst case of herpes simplex one I've ever seen, Josh. One in four people. One in four people. Yeah, that's a flare-up if I've ever seen one, man. I'll make out with you, sir, if you want me to. Somebody knocked over the random jug of gas that was just sitting there. I said, Wilford. kiss me, not kick me. Wilford's kicking some ass here. Actually, not really. <laughs> I hope his ass isn't hurting from pulling that shotgun out of it. Um, 
that so when he said take this and the shotgun blast, that was like a a subtle metaphor for like an orgasm, <laughs> probably. <laughs> take this blast, baby. I don't need my tea in the morning. He's not. Hey, he didn't even get stabbed or anything. He's just having a heart attack because he's incredibly out of shape. <laughs> That's just natural causes. Oh, that nutty zombie's dead, and that that sword just like bent. Did you see that? It was like yes. rubber. He got that uh, sword from Benjamin Franklin's or Payless. That, that one guy was just getting gasoline poured on him, and he was just screaming like it like it hurt him. It's not even on fire yet. Did I just see a titty get shot, or am I seeing things? They should have had Ozzy Osbourne just. <laughs> he turned Dracula turned into a bat to fly into that guy's hand and just have his head blown off. Where, where? I'm just a baby, though. Where, where? Wait, how did she kill him? Just pick him up and set him down too hard? I don't understand. She gave him a wedgie. Guy in the wheelchair is like, oh, I can't feel my legs. Note to self, redact joke from the first five minutes of episode. <laughs> that doesn't even look like a wheelchair. It looks like, like a soapbox derby car. <laughs> it's like he's part Dalek from Doctor Who. Exterminate. <laughs> he's like, I can't wait till they take me to the soapbox derby after the big battle here. But how are they all going to get lost in time? I don't understand. Dollar Store Michael Bowden was not happy with the fire. No, dude. Hey, we got lost in time by just having to watch this frickin' thing. I'm not looking forward to us having to watch Wax Work 2 Lost in Time. Wait. When you call my name, it's like a little prayer. Oh, we're in the Ghoulies basement now. It's not even a real ladder. He's like, I gotta go <laughs> up to my loft. To, on the wall. I gotta go up to my loft to think. Things aren't going well. Thank you for the other sword. I needed a second fencing sword. Do so you have a penis? How come he doesn't have a I have a penis, you have wax. I think I'm the real man. See, I thought it was going to be a movie about people, like, making stuff out of wax, you know, doing wax work. This was totally off. Yeah, and you know what's cool about this is, uh, like, it's always good to end a horror movie with a fencing match. That's how I like my horror movies to end. It's like The Princess Bride. (laughs) <laughs> my name is Zach, and you killed my girlfriend. Prepare to die. You know, I want to make Princess Bride dark for you. He was a pirate for like 10 years. Just imagine all the places he like raped and pillaged before he fa- got back to his true love. <laughs> oh, definitely. He, he was the dread pirate Roberts or whatever. He raped a lot of people. A lot of raping going on and pillaging <laughs> Probably killed some children. Just saying, if he had that kind of reputation, who's who's cheering for Wesley now? So today's slash tracks episode was brought to brought to you by Josh's dark sense of humor. <laughs> no, I mean if he was a dread pirate, Robert T, he, he had to do some raping, pillaging, and some other shit to get that reputation. Let me ask you a question first. Don't die. I got to ask you something. Well, shit. Now my pun don't work. That sucks, man. He just finally became real. 
he was going to be able to whip the shit out of anybody he wanted for real without them, you know, crossing over the boundaries into like reality or fantasy. And it, his dream is over. It's done. Is that Lucifer? That's your reasoning? His, his, his whole motivation is just because somebody has to end the world. Exactly. <laughs> That's it. No personal reason, nothing. Fall into the wax. Man. Oh, uh, I saw that coming a mile away. Dude, Josh, how, whoever was in charge of constructing that beam up there, or that little rail, did a shitty job. Your mother sucks cock in hell. I, I guess when you die, you just fart a lot, because that water was bubbling. <laughs> I'm married to Roseanne. Save yourselves. Dude, Wilford, wheel your ass out of there, bud. Oh, the werewolf got some head. It's a happy ending after all. God, can they put the master print of this film in that fire for us, please? This is one of the worst I've watched on this series, man. I'm sorry. Waxwork? Yes. It's about 30 minutes too long. It should have been like an episode of Tales from the Crypt or something. The Wax, uh, the wax movie that came out in like House of Wax, like 2003, 2004... With Paris Hilton and like Chad Michael Murray was actually way better than this film. Is, is it was that a remake of this? Was no, it... no, no, no. It's oh. like a the whole town is covered in wax. Oh, okay. They're like so, whoever like it, it's not they're not like supernatural at all. Like they get killed and then they get covered in wax. Oh shit! Please don't make us watch that master evil. <laughs> Paris Hilton and I'm. I can't remember who else is in that film. That's but... all you have to say. Wow, that miniature is burning really fast. If Paris Hilton was watching this scene right now and she was standing close by, she'd say, that's hot. And there's the dad joke of the night. I thought I would get it. God, that miniature is burning fast. Oh, is the little person still alive? The guy, the wax museum owner's hand pops up through the ground, flips us off. <laughs> oh, like the giant hand in the leprechaun in space. <laughs> He's got a nice watch. Wait, whose hand is this supposed to be? I don't know. I don't know, man. I need, I need some context here. Oh, it's just a hand. It's an Evil Dead 2 reference. Oh, it gets sucked into, like, a little poop thing, like, in the movie, and it ends up being an Adams Family. So that must have been the piece of the museum that makes it out to get lost in time. Yeah, that's where Thing came from in Adams Family, from this movie. Is this really the song that's in the credits? They have been all over the place with the, with the soundtrack, this film. At what point was there a party in this movie? Oh, they, they're expecting that anybody watching it is throwing a party now that the credits are rolling. Absolutely, man. They are getting the hell out of the theater as fast as they possibly can. You would cry, too, if you had to watch this. <laughs> Music composed and conducted by Roger Bellin. Yeah, he better... Roger Bellin had dementia. He had dementia. Yeah, Roger better soak it in, man, because that's his one and only credit after this shitter. Come on now. Art director. did he? Was he in charge of the Wax Museum exhibits? No, he just had that one scene with that old lady in that picture when they were digging through that chest. Okay. That was his whole part. Production consultant, Mark Berg. They must not, either he was in charge of everything or they didn't ask him anything and they just did whatever they wanted. They didn't listen to a word he said. Yeah, he's like, I don't think that that's a really good song choice for this film. The tone is all off. Anyways. 
Yeah, we're gonna do it anyway, Mark. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> we don't care what you think. Like, you're. This is basically just a like. You just show up and get paid. We don't really want you to do anything. Mark, Marquis de Sade, girl one, two, three, four, and five. Zombie one, two, three, four, five, six. Sir Wilfred's butler. What if that was on your like uh, your list of shit? You know, whenever you're going with <clears throat> on the back of your head shot, you know. You wouldn't have a very long line at whatever Comic Con you were at. I can tell you that much. Like you're trying to get a, a, hey, a movie. Hey, Kane was... Hodder. Kane Hodder. Stunt. Kane Hodder. Oh yeah, there you go. Save the whole thing right there. What did he, I wonder where he? I wonder what he was. Even he probably in that last scene was like, you know what? Just do whatever the fuck you want. <clears throat> I, I, I'm out. Josh, you doing okay over there? You sound like you're dying. <laughs> Yeah, I think Master Evil's giving me COVID. He he he, he poisoned your ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I can't break them, so I'll just physically murder them this time. Caterers, Lori's Kitchen of Beverly Hills, the one kitchen in Beverly Hills. I guess, man. Uh, and all they provided was milk and orange juice throughout the film. There's the one song. It's my party. <laughs> Financial consultant, Hans Nall. Special thanks to anybody who sat through this shitter. Damn, Barney the Dinosaur was in this movie. Barney. Richard Marcus and Titch living in a box. Dedicated to Mom and Dad and many more. And Steven Spielberg this was even dedicated to. Oh man, the movie's over, thank goodness. Now we go through the vault and see what Master Evil's up to. We got Velcro pictures, wax work again. At least it's over, right? Yeah. Wait, what's what's going on? What? Here comes Samuel L. Jackson. He wants to recruit Zack for the Avengers. This is a trailer for another movie on Fearnet? This trailer, this movie looks like it was filmed on, like, an iPhone, dude. Look at this thing. It looks like a low-budget Keanu Reeves wannabe movie. All right. Girl number nine. Hey, that's the person that was in the credits earlier, right? Marky Desaad, girl number nine. Do we have to watch girl number one through eight in order to watch that one and know what's going on? Okay, let's go. Let's All right. go. All right, let's do it. Obviously, Waxworks didn't do the job. Well, unfortunately, I can't turn you into wax statues. That would ruin the show. I'll just wait until you two succumb, and I'll just mount your heads to my living room wall. Ma will love that. Also less expensive that way, and more messy and bloody. I like that. I really like that. <laughs> Just to destroy your hopes, I thought I would mention that I got a truly horrid film for the Slash Tracks. Season finale. You will suffer through Pumpkinhead 2 Blood Wings. <laughs> I know you'll be waiting with bated breath. <laughs> You'd better hope for a season renewal. Or molten wax will be the least of your problems. Have fun. Wait, did he just... First off, season three isn't for sure. And if is he saying we're going to get murdered and made into those statues if we don't get renewed? And second, the next episode being the season finale, is it really called Pumpkinhead 2 Blood Wings? Like... Like, earning your red wings? Does any guys out there know what that means? Blood wings 
I cannot believe that is the name of the film. I would rather be covered in wax, Josh, than watch a movie called Blood Wings. I would rather earn my red wings than watch a movie called Blood Wings. Um, what were they thinking when they, did, when they named this movie? Was it a joke? I don't know. I, I think that... And I, I think Master Evil is... If he's letting the success of Slash Tracks get to his head, but he's not sure that we're going to be renewed for Season 3, but at the same time, he wants to turn us into wax uh, statues, but at the same time, he's not telling us if, if we're going to die from being covered in said wax... He's all over the place, man. I think we need to dig a little deeper into what's going on with him because he sounds like he's not focused. Uh, it's not that I care about him. It's going I to just, sense. yeah, I just, I think he's all over the place and he's being pulled in all these different directions. And since we're locked up twenty four seven, we don't actually get to do press or get to do anything because of the success of the show. He's the only one that's accessible. I mean, so he, I makes think, us, he makes us do the news show, but I mean. He's watching that, too, so he can't really, you know, plead for an escape or anything, but... He, he's right behind, he is, like, when we do the news show, he's he's right behind the camera. He's staring at both of us. He's right there. It's not like, you know, he's ever-present. He's always around, but I'm just te- he just seems distracted. Like, when he was eating his dinner in front of us on camera the other night, because we don't get to eat, but he eats, you know, a lot of food in front of us, and he enjoys it, you know, a lot... <laughs> It. He reviews it in front of us. Yeah, he he looked like he wasn't enjoying it as much. He seemed like he had other things going on. Like when he got that second filet, filet mignon, I don't know that he enjoyed it as much as he normally would. Okay, well, I say we come back, episode 29, Pumpkinhead 2, Blood Wings. We give the riff of a lifetime and do everything we can to get renewed because the views are so high. Yeah. I thought maybe if we if we just sunk the ship, maybe he would have to let us go. But at this point, it seems like letting us go would be letting us go. So I guess we're just going to have to embrace being prisoners for life, man, and try to get renewed every season. You're telling me that the only way we can avoid death is to just continue this show indefinitely. Yes, starting with season three. So, next episode, let's just give it our all, blood wings and everything, and and hope we get picked up. I mean, I don't know if the Nielsen ratings are picking us up, if a network is, or if Master Evil or Flibble is making that decision. Mm-hmm. But uh, please, in the comments, let us, let us know how we're doing. Tell Master Evil, renew us for season three. We do not want to be wax statues. Please, we beg you. All right. Hashtag slash track season three. Keep us alive. I'd rather be breathing and a prisoner than, yeah. How about hashtag season three? We're fucked either way. Hashtag hashtag season three. All we're eating is asshole burgers from this (laughs) point on. Hashtag season three. My life fucking sucks. How about that hashtag? You like that one? Hashtag season three. I don't give a shit if I'm covered in wax. How about that? Hashtag first comes blood wings season two finale. Hashtag uh, take it away, Miguel Nunez Jr. All right. What up, Josh? What up, Alex? What up, Mike? Hey, Josh. Hey, Josh. What's going on? I'm busting in the damn head. Hey, this is Zach Galligan here. And I am doing a message for the 80s slasher librarian. You know, I have some questions actually about your name. Does that mean that you are a librarian for 80s slasher movies? Or does that mean that you were born in the 80s and you're a librarian and you kill people? So you're an 80s slasher librarian. Yeah, see, I'm not 100% sure. Anyway... I was just thinking about that because, you know, the, um, the nickname is a little, it's a little confusing. Anyway, here's what you actually uh, paid for. So you can cut off the front of the um, message if you don't like it. So here's the good part. 
This is Zach Galligan, Billy from Gremlins 1 and 2, and you are listening to the 80s Slasher Librarian. See, now you can use that part. And now you don't need the part where necessarily I'm questioning whether you're actually a killer or just a librarian or from the 80s or any or all of the above. Anyway, enjoy. <laughs> I'm a person, I'd say, uh, there's one, there's one.